Welcome to my channel, I'm Scott, and in this video we're going to go through this website, StockSplitHistory.com. This is a really interesting website. It shows you how much money you would have if you invested $10,000 10 years ago. Let me show you an example. Say we put in the ticker SPY, which is the S&P 500 index. It shows you the split history of this ticker. Of course, it never split. Then if you scroll down, it shows you how much money you would have if you invested $10,000 10 years ago. So if you put $10,000 into spiders 10 years ago, you would have $32,000 today. This is assuming you reinvested the dividends. That's a 220% return. If you did not reinvest the dividends, you'd have $30,000. Now let's just put this $32,000 into our spreadsheet. So let's do the same exercise with some other ETFs and a lot of different stocks. It's really interesting to see if you would have been better off just investing in the index than investing in most stocks. And this Excel file has some of the biggest companies that are trading in the United States. Now let's do QQQ, the NASDAQ 100 index. So just put the symbol QQQ in here. And it's interesting, this index did split a two for one in 2000. This did better than S&P 500. If you put $10,000 10 years ago and reinvested the dividends, you'd have $44,100 today. That's a 16% annual return. Let's do VTI, the Vanguard Total Market Index. This is a good index if you want exposure to the entire world. This did a two for one in 2008, and you'd have $30,000 if you invest in this index 10 years ago. Let's do XLE if you want exposure to energy. You'd have 17,000, so this didn't perform that well. And you could see where your $10,000 would have gone. You would have been down at one point, then down a lot a few years ago. But as you know, there's been a huge bull run on an energy market recently. Now let's look at the biggest company in the world, Apple. And of course, they've done lots of splits. A two for one in 87, a two for one, two for one, a seven for one, and a four for one. If you put $10,000 into this company 10 years ago, you'd have over $100,000 two years ago, but now you'd be at $81,000 today. Still a great return. So you would have been better off investing in Apple than these other indexes. Let's look at Microsoft. We'll put the ticker in MSFT. Lots of splits, more than Apple. This is even better than Apple. You would have over $100,000 today. So you would have 10x your money with Microsoft. Let's look at Google. They've only done three stock splits. So Google hasn't performed that well. It's pretty much tracking the index. $32,000 today. Let's look at Amazon. They've been really struggling lately. The stock has been coming down a lot. They did a 20 for one stock split just a few months ago. If you put $10,000 into them, you would have been well over $100,000 for a few years. But look at the crash. It's down to 64,000. Still a pretty good return. Let's look at everyone's favorite stock, Tesla. And that's been coming down a lot lately. If you put $10,000 into this company 10 years ago, you would have had $1.7 million last year. But now you'd be at half a million. Still amazing performance. 5,000% jump. So this is doing the best. Let's look at Nvidia, the semiconductor giant. They've done five stock splits. You would have had about $1 million if you put $10,000 into them 10 years ago but still you'd be at half a million dollars today, which is a little better than Tesla. Let's look at Meta. That's really struggled a lot. I'm down a ton on Meta. Meta started trading in 2012. I remember that well because I bought the stock when they started trading. But you'd still be up about 6X from your $10,000 investment. You'd have $64,000 today. Let's look at Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett's giant company. They did a 50 for one stock split, and this was not a normal stock split. The reason they did this stock split was to convert the B shares to a smaller dollar amount so more people can afford them. So this is tracking the index. You'd have $34,000 today if you invested in Berkshire Hathaway. It's doing a little better than S&P 500. Let's look at Johnson & Johnson. This is one of the few stocks I'm up on the past year. They did a bunch of stock splits, six stock splits. 
So you'd have $33,000 if you put $10,000 and reinvested the dividends. If you did not reinvest the dividends, you'd have $30,000. It's pretty much tracking the index. Let's look at Visa. And let me know in the comments if you want me to do this type of video in the future and what tickers you want me to do them on. They did a reverse stock split, a one for five reverse in 2000 and a regular four for one stock split in 2015. So you'd have $58,000 if you put $10,000 into them 10 years ago, which is pretty good. That's about 6x, about a 500% return. Now let's do United Healthcare, the giant insurance company. They did five two for one stock splits. You'd have over $100,000 with this company. It's a great return. Let's look at Taiwan Semiconductor. I think they're the largest semiconductor in the world now that NVIDIA has come down a lot. NVIDIA was number one at one point. They've done a lot of stock splits. You would have 6 x your money with this company, $59,000. So far, NVIDIA and Tesla are way in the lead at half a million. Let's look at Exxon. When I was a kid, Exxon was the biggest company. I remember looking at the Wall Street Journal in high school and they were like 100 billion market cap. I was thinking, will there ever be a company at one trillion? I doubt it, and look at today. Exxon, you would have pretty much doubled your money, which is not terrible, at least you didn't lose your money. Let's look at the largest retailer in the world, Walmart. They may not be the largest, it's probably Amazon, but at one point, Walmart was the largest. Lots of stock splits. You'd have only $27,000 today, so about 2.5x your money. MasterCard one of the largest credit card companies in the world. They did a one stock split in 2014 at 10 for one. That's a nice return, $73,000. Let's look at a giant Procter & Gamble, PG. They did six two for one stock splits. You'd have $30,000 today. Let's look at one of the largest banks in the world, possibly the largest, JP Morgan. They did three two for one stock splits. It's been a while since they did a split. You'd have 40,000, you would have four x your money. Let's look at the oil giant Chevron, CVX. They only did one stock split. You would have about $25,000 after 10 years. Baba, the giant Chinese retailer, you'd be up a little bit, 12,000. At one point, you would have more than tripled your money, but as you know, the stock has been really volatile. Warren Buffett's favorite company, Coca-Cola, KO. They did lots of stock splits. You'd have $23,000 today. This is what you get for Coca-Cola. Steady growth year after year. Not much decline. Of course, there are declines here and there when the market crashes but this stock generally doesn't go down that much. For example, if the market crashed 20% in a year, this stock will probably go down 10%. And if the market shot up 20% in a year, this stock will probably only go up about 10%. Much less volatile than the market, Coca-Cola. Pretty safe stock. Disney, fun place to go to. I went to Disney World once when I was in high school. They've done a bunch of stock splits. Your $10,000 would have doubled to $20,000. Home Depot, HD. They did a ton of stock splits. You would have six x your money, 62,000. Costco, one of my favorite stocks. Only two stock splits. And you would have six x your money, 58,000, great return. Cisco, the computer giant. Lots of stock splits, 32,000, 29,000 if you did not invest the dividends. Let's look at Adobe next. Adobe, if you want to convert your files to PDFs, 86,000, but it was up to about 160,000 at one point. Let's look at Broadcom, the semiconductor company, AVGO, $235,000. Semiconductors have done really well the past few years. Next is Merck. They're up like 50% the past 12 months. Really amazing returns. 
and they're not declining. Most stocks you see a dip the past year, they've only gone up. You would have almost 4x your money, a 380% return. Novartis, if you want to get into the medical field, Novartis, 22,000. Let's look at a large telecom company, Verizon, VZ. A few stock splits, $15,000, you would have a small return. Abbott Labs, so everything's up. It just shows you investing in a market makes sense over time, of course. In the past year, you would have gotten crushed. 40,000, PepsiCo, everybody loves Pepsi. And we all know Pepsi tastes better than Coca-Cola. I mean, it's, it's not even close. Look at Pepsi, it only goes up. It makes you feel comfortable when your stock goes up over time. Even if you're up like 5X, say you put $10,000 and that $10,000 was $100,000 last year. And now it's $50,000 today. You're pissed off because it was $100,000. You always think of that. But when a stock only goes up, it's a nice feeling. There's not always that stress and that worry about, I should have sold it a few months ago. 35,000 for PepsiCo. Let's look at Salesforce. This probably has done really well. They did a reverse stock split in 2000, only 33,000. I thought it'd be more for Salesforce. Pfizer, the pharmaceutical field. A few stock splits. You would have 3x your money, 29,000. B of A, another huge bank. Three two for one stock splits. You'd be at $35,000. ABV. This is a nice return, $74,000, 640% return, 22% annual return. So you can see, unless you happen to pick up Tesla, Nvidia, or maybe Broadcom, you're probably not gonna crush the index. It usually makes sense just to put your money in the index. Because oftentimes people don't sit and wait a decade, two decades. They see it go up a lot and they're so happy they never sell. Then when it goes down, they get all paranoid and sell. So people generally buy at the wrong time, sell at the wrong time. And I'm not a perfect candidate either. My emotions get involved as well. I do try to think of it logically and not sell at the wrong times. But I will admit it does bother me sometimes when I see the market go down but the market is a long-term game. Keep your money in there because over the long haul, if you pick the right stocks, you should make money. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something new. Comment, like, subscribe, talk to you soon.